Today you'll be watching our Destination Cooking Challenge, where one of our frequent Myler team members will demonstrate how to prepare some kind of food from somewhere in the world. If you think this contestant should win the challenge, don't forget to like and subscribe at the end of the video. All right, so you know I love to travel, and one of the things that I love about traveling is eating. My wife and I share that, especially when it comes to Italy. We love to eat Italian food, and in fact, love it so much that the last time we were in Rome, she titled the Facebook album, When in Rome, Eat. And I had this mwah, fantastic, fantastic Italian pasta dish that I've, I've been wanting to replicate for a long time, but I haven't given it a shot, so here we go. The first thing we gotta do, apparently, is make a volcano out of the flour. If you're gonna, if you're gonna try and replicate a great meal that you had in Rome, I think like the first step is you just, you have to make your own pasta, right? I mean, you can't, you can't like boil pasta out of a box, right? And you know how many times I've ever made pasta before? Once. Just crack the eggs and put them right there in your volcano. Now you see, I knew that wasn't gonna fit. It said you had to be really careful not to let it do that. And as you can see, my volcano is clearly erupting everywhere. Um, there's like, no egg in the volcano, it's all over here right now. Oh, I am mixing like I'm using a mixing bowl on top of a cutting board. You know, I'm gonna call BS on their volcano. I, I, think, I think the volcano wasn't necessary. Doing it in a bowl might have been. I think really, if I were gonna do this recipe or if I were gonna recommend this recipe to somebody, that's what I would tell you. I would say just beat the eggs before you put them in the top of the volcano and slowly kind of fold in the stuff. Don't try and beat the eggs in a volcano made of flour? Like, who came up with that idea? Like, what great Italian chef had that idea? All right, so we're gonna give this another go because obviously it didn't go so hot yesterday. So today I have my ingredients measured out and I'm gonna do this a little bit differently because I feel like I got led astray yesterday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. You see, I got a little bit smarter today, just a little bit, guys, don't get excited, all right? Just a little bit smarter and decided, let's do this in a mixing bowl. Give it the love that it needs. Get that, the love that it needs. It's a needs joke, it's a baking joke, guys, all right, come on. So here we go, let's give it a go, see what happens. Let me slice it down the middle. Boom, look at that. Kind of like this competition, wrapping it up. I mean, it's just like carving a pumpkin, right? And I have a juicer, but who needs a juicer when you have a potato masher? It's kind of the same, right? What? Who needs a, who needs a juicer? I am the juicer. First time I've ever used this, I'm kind of excited. I'm gonna... And it's like magic. It's like magic. The KitchenAid does all the work, right? You help We're making me? pasta. Do you like pasta? I do. Yeah, you do. You're rolling, that's right, very good. Here, can you roll this right here for me for a second? Because daddy messed up a little bit. Roll, you got it, you got it. Roll it back and forth a couple times, okay? Slap me five, slap me five. We got this, right? Can you say, vote for daddy? For you, Greg Davis Keen. So we got the butter nice and melted here. I got a couple ounces of prosciutto, thinly sliced, cut into little pieces. Let that go there for a minute. The prosciutto's gotta get brown. It says it takes about three minutes, so I got my eye on the clock there. The pasta over here looks like it is getting very close to ready. You hear that sound? That is the sound of prosciutto cooking in butter. Come here, I want you to see this. Look at this. Greg, you scared, buddy? You should be, look at that. Look at that, that's fresh pasta. Fresh pasta, what? All right, so we put a half a cup of the pasta water in here. You don't do it like that. That's not the way you do it. You don't wanna pour it all over the stove, but that's all right. Hey, who's keeping track? All right, so there we go, a little bit of the orange juice, half a cup of uh, heavy whipping cream. We're gonna toss that right in there. Doesn't that look beautiful? Doesn't that look beautiful right in there? Mix right in. Mm -mm -mm. So you need some orange zest in there. You gotta get a little bit of the zest. All right, we're boiling. So let's do this. We're gonna get a little bit of this thick pasta that we made in here. Toss this right in. Come 
Come on, come on, tell me that's not what you saw in the picture. All right, it's, it's gonna taste good anyway. So there we go, there you have it. There is my tagliatelle with orange cream sauce. Boom. What do you got, Greg? What's up, Steven? What are you gonna cook, Carrie?